Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Tuesday, April 14th, 2015, and we're honored to have with us Anthony D'Amato. There was a time when I could weather the raging of the storm. There was a time when I could gather the roses from the thorns. Oh, time when I was certain. Time when I was sure there was a time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. There was a time when every kiss was haunted by your ghost. There was a time when happiness was but a moment at the most. Oh, time when I could see the ship back from the shore. There was a time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. Time when I could scale the highest city wall There was a time when I could wail And Jericho would fall oh, Time when I could stand Face the tiger's roar There was a time that I loved you I don't love you anymore There was a time when I would scatter my seeds across the ground There was a time when I would harvest any single thing I found Oh, time when I was lonesome, time when I was bored There was a time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore I must confess, so I wish we'd never met the bad times when I feel blessed I'll to get to live again. Now the time I let you rest, the man I was before. There was a time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. There was a time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. The time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. The time that I loved you, I don't love you anymore. Audio Tree Live with Anthony Diamato. Hey, man, thank you very much for coming out and playing for us Thanks today. for having me. For sure. Um, you can go, if it's in the same tuning, you can just go into your next song sure. right now. Right. Take it away. Uh, I'm going to do a song now called Good and Ready. Let me die in a heartbeat, not slow and steady. Let me die in my sleep when I'm good and ready. Let me die on the ocean, you could bear me at sea Let me die on a cold chain, you could burn my body Let me die in the desert, in a sea of sand let me die in the pleasure of a one-night stand Let me die in the forest with the first spring thaw Let me die in the chorus with the hallelujah Cause I don't wanna wake up losing attitude I don't wanna wake up whispering the blues I don't wanna wake up what else can I do? I don't wanna wake up if it ain't next to you. Let me die in my new suit. I wanna look my best. Let me die, baby, real soon. I could use the rest. Let me die in a bar fight with a broken nose Let me die in the spotlight, you could pick my toes Cause I don't wanna wake up, losing out to soon I don't wanna wake up, whispering the blues I don't wanna wake up, what else can I do? Sound when a 
trumpet sound They're gonna lay me down They're gonna lay me down In a long white gown In a long white gown And slowly lower me underground Die on a Sunday for to stay out of hell. Let me die on the subway. Could they even tell? Let me die when the war ends. You could paint my face. Let me die in New Orleans. I wanna march with them saints. Cause I don't wanna wake up losing attitude. I don't wanna wake up. In the blues, I don't wanna wake up. But what else can I do? I don't wanna wake up if it ain't next to you. I don't wanna wake up if it ain't next to you. Anthony Diamato on Audio Tree Live. Um, so you used to work for was it Shorefire? That Shorefire you used to work Media, for? yeah, it was a PR firm. Okay, cool. How um how do you think that's different, or what did what you learned there help you out with now? I guess. I mean, working there actually helped me in in so many ways. Just because um, I was kind of on the inside of album campaigns. It was a music publicity firm. Yeah. So I was working with artists like Grizzly Bear and St. Vincent and Bill Callahan and Bonnie Iver. And, um, you know, I got to, uh, you know, see how their whole album campaigns rolled out from the inside and, you know, go with them to all their press events and, you know, be at all of their, uh, you know, concerts and backstage sure. and all those things. And yeah, yeah. it was kind of just like, I, I tried to be a sponge as much as I could and just absorb like, what works, what doesn't, you know, what brings them closer to their fans, what, uh, you know, helps them out with press and all that sort of stuff that, um, you know, has been really useful for me now that I'm in, you know, their position on that that side yeah. of the, uh, the microphone. Yeah, it's something that's, it's entirely necessary to do press cycles and things like that, right? But sometimes musicians don't know how to do it or maybe just aren't good at it because they don't have the education that they yeah, need, Yeah, right? I mean, there's both. I mean, there's, there's on some level, you know, ultimately... Uh, you know, there's that the the wish to just be out there doing the shows and yeah. that sort of stuff. And yeah. you know, sometimes you you wind up when you're doing press telling the same stories over and over again and that yeah. sort of thing. But um, it's it's really important because every one of those interviews you do, even if it just reaches one new person that falls in love with your music, they come to the show, they love it, they bring two friends next time, those friends bring friends next time. Yeah. Every little piece matters. Um, so you know, I, I think it's really important. Yeah, and and with that, like saying the same thing every time, e even though that's probably monotonous from your perspective, it makes that, um, I don't want to say character, but you know what I mean, it like, it makes an image of you that can, that's bigger maybe than just the sound itself, that has like a backstory to it. Absolutely, you know, you know I think, I think those, those sorts of stories, I mean, obviously you want the music to, to stand on its right. own, but you know, I, I, I think, um, you know, especially in the, the age of social media that we live in, people want, personal connections with the artists. They yeah, want to yeah. know what the songs are about. They want to hear songs in progress. They want to know what's going on in their lives and, and feel some sort of, uh, you know, personal, tangible connection. And so, you know, I think press is just another way of, uh, of giving, uh, you know, back in some ways to the people that listen to your music and let you do what you do for a living. Right. Cool. All right, man. You can go to your next song sure. when you're ready. This is called On the Banks of the River Where I Died. But I'm going to use the right key harmonica because we're taping this. Do you have the box? Oh, I, no, just the... I've got... No, I've got the right key. I just... Um, it's just a little fake out. On the 
the banks of the river where they found me Kicked in mud with a canteen by my side There was nothing left that could identify me On the banks of the river where I died In the moonlight I waited in the water Closed my heart and closed my eyes before the dive Current pulled me down and in an instant I had drowned At the bottom of the river where I died Oh, tell my wife and warriors that I'm sorry Tell my sons and daughters that I tried All I ask is that you lay my body By the banks of the river where I died The vigilante man was first to spot me Checked my pockets and left me where I lied Said I got what I deserved and then forgot me On the banks of the river where I died The radio man says he's got in freedom Protecting it from raiders in the night but I hope someday my face comes back to haunt him From the banks of the river where I died well now don't you think I know that I am guilty I broke the law and Lord I paid a heavy price But I wanna ask you Mr. Vigilante What if those kids of yours went hungry every night What if those kids of yours lived on the other side Watch El Paso's lights glow in the distance Lord, you should have seen the tears I cried so Might as well have been another planet On the banks of the river where I died Tell my wife and warriors that I'm sorry Tell my sons and daughters that I tried All I ask is that you lay my body By the banks of the river Audio Tree Live with Anthony D'Amato. Um, is that a Stetson? Cowboy it is hat? a Stetson. Did you get it down in South By? Yeah, I did this show. Um, one of the first shows I did down in, in Austin for South By this year was sponsored by Stetson. Okay. And they, um, as part of the show, they, they gave me this hat. And it was so big that I couldn't, uh, I couldn't fit it in my bag or anything. So okay. I just like wear it around Austin with me all week. And... Uh, Right after I finished that show, I walked out and I was starving, so I got like a hot dog from a street vendor. And he gave me my change. And he, uh, as I walked away, he said, "Enjoy the rest of Rumspringa," which it took me a second. And then I realized Rumspringa is um, the rite of passage in which young Amish men go into the city yeah. for the first time okay, and experience yeah. technology and decide whether or not they still want to be Amish. Um, so I had to go back and <laughs> and tip him for the burn, if yes. not for the sausage. Um, so now I'm just I'm out. This is the rest of Rumspringa for me. Um, I've got a big decision to make at the end of the tour. <laughs> How many days you got left? You got uh, <laughs> two uh, more weeks forever, before you decide. Forever. <laughs> that's kind of that's like really amazing. Eternal actually. Rumspringa. <laughs> Did you get to choose between some different hats? And you I just did. I chose one? one called the Amish. <laughs> that's um, what it says. So like I was right asking for it. Yeah. Sweet. Okay, you can go on your next song, man. Um, this is called uh, If It Don't Work Out. <laughs> if it don't work out If it don't work out You take the bed and I take the couch If it don't work out if the fire dies, if the fire dies 
inside your thigh You tend the ash and I'll tend the pine as the fire dies Darkness so I got my heart broken in half if you have to ask But I'm a gambling man Oh, I'm a gambling man I come here to play me another hand I'm a gambling man After all God, I thought it'd be enough just to find love once, but it's come again. Oh, it's come again. Stronger now than it's ever been. Love has come again. And I've been lonely almost every Audio Tree Live with Anthony D'Amato. Um, so I saw a photo of you and a little kid, and it said something about, like, um, I don't know, he said that he's one of your biggest fans or something. Oh, Would you yeah. tell me that story? That was, um, that was in Ashland, Virginia. I noticed during the show there was like parents with like a real little kid. I, I would guess he was like maybe seven years yeah. old or something. Yeah. In the audience, and he was like kind of dancing along to every song. And um, they came up to me at the merch table after the show, and they introduced him. His name was uh, Liam, I think. And <clears throat> yeah, they said he's like his his mom heard me on NPR in the car, and he like loved it. And um, he makes her play the Tiny Desk concert video we oh, did like okay. all the time. Like, yeah, yeah. They they always watch that and like he wants to reenact it and like he plays guitar and like she pretends to be the girl Katie in my band who sings harmonies and stuff. So they drove like from Virginia Beach. They, they did some crazy drive on a weeknight because Liam really wanted to come That's to the show. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, you know, if the music can can connect with a seven year old, yeah. Then it's, <laughs> that I'm not getting too complicated with it. And yeah, I'm, seriously. I'm in the right zone. <laughs> or at um, least that, like, yeah, that that innocence has to say something yeah, about yeah. it, right? Like a kid um, who just likes it. <laughs> it was cool. Yeah, you know, I uh, I never would have really expected that. Yeah. Um, it was a it was a nice surprise in a you know small town Virginia to be for like, sure. You know, uh, but I, I guess that's the that's the reach of NPR there. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> did he? Um, I don't know. Did he? Was he like starstruck at all? He was, was really it? like shy. He okay. didn't like. He was he was kind of nervous to. Um, to talk to me, but like once his parents introduced, I I insisted I get at least a high five. From yeah, him. and then just um, walk away so, or whatever. Yeah, but then we did a we did a photo, and he kind of he he got a little more animated. Okay, cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, now he'll have even more videos to exactly. uh, watch and reenact. Yeah, so. this is for you, Liam. Yeah. <laughs> Take it away, man. This song called Ludlow. First the whisper, then the shout First the temple, then the doubt First the angel spreads her wings 
And shadow covers everything I wanna tell you But I don't know how I mouth the words But they won't come out I've been a liar I've been alone I've been a stranger In my own damn home First the captive, then the God First the artist, then the art First the fruit fell from the tree Then the pain, the ecstasy I want to tell you don't know how I mouth the words but they won't come out I've been a liar I've been alone I've been a stranger in my own damn home First the ark and then the flood First the brother, then the blood First the last and last the first Then the righteous know their worth I want to tell you don't know how now the words but they won't come out I've been a liar I've been alone I've been a stranger in my own damn home Audio Tree Live with Anthony D'Amato. Dude, I really like that last oh, part. That finger-picking stuff is awesome so at the end. Um, okay, so you can go into your last song, um, Get Set Up or whatever, and I would say that um, he's off on tour like for the end of May and then a little bit of June again, sort of spattered about and um, starting in the middle of April a little bit more. A uh, new record, The Shipwreck from the Shore, is out. Anything else like press-wise that you want to talk about, music or tour? Um, no, we got some cool stuff coming up. We're doing shows with uh, Twin Peaks and Bleachers coming up. And oh, then uh, cool. we'll be out on the West Coast for all of May. And uh, yeah, you can find me on, on Facebook and Instagram and all those places. I'm sure they get the links up on your site. So. Sweet. Take it away, man. Uh, cool. Well, thanks so much for having me. This is the last song. It's called Ballad of the Undecided. It's uh, about being somebody like me. I'm not your lover just because I spent the night. And I'm not a liar just because I'm never right. Accustomed to trusting in any of my thoughts So I'm just a man who doesn't know what it wants I'm not Moses, but I will part your seas in two I'm not Judas, though someday I will betray you What it wants
people But I know exactly how it feels I'm not brave but I will try anything once Cause I'm just a man who doesn't know what it wants Though I do surround myself with wealth I'm not sick, I'm just not in the best of health I'm not honest, but I promise you I will be blessed Cause I'm just a man who doesn't know what he wants Audio Tree Live with Anthony Diamato. Thanks again, man, for playing. Seriously. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. You can check him out on tour all the way through the end of June and get the new record. Uh, thanks to Goose Island. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew, hooking it up. And viewers, thanks for watching. Support Anthony by downloading the session when it comes out in a few weeks. And send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. <laughs>